guys <laughs> I had to leave the house it looks pretty insane in there which is to be expected and I'm not gonna lie I feel slightly overwhelmed so instead of going to the gym today I just decided to come up for a run I love being out here in the nature it's so beautiful I'm gonna quickly uh, show you literally surrounded by nature hi guys welcome back to my channel happy 2023 i hope you had amazing holidays with your friends and family our holidays were a little bit different than the normal normally i go all out christmas time i normally have family over from canada either we go over there or my family from canada comes over here this time around we had no tree no decorations um we're under construction as you're aware if you haven't watched my previous video go ahead and do that uh, yeah so our christmas and the holidays were a little bit different and as you'll see, um, I've captured bits and pieces of what we got up to. I didn't, I didn't want to capture every single detail. I wanted to be in the moment, but I did capture some tits and bits. So this time around, I had no pressure of making food or preparing meals and dinners, parties, all of that. Literally, all we did was go to our favorite restaurants. We've recently moved into Cambridgeshire, so we've got a few restaurants that we really like going in. Now I'm going to share what we did over the holidays. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> we just got here and we're having bad traffic. So, we just got to Wim Pool. Hi guys. Can't see their faces. I need to turn my... I'm just gonna ask Santa something. Okay, sure. Like about like I, I'm gonna tell him about the cookies. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Hello there. Hello. Are you enjoying your evening? Yes. This one has something to say. Oh, yes. Yes. What now? What I like every cookie. What, what are you going to leave me? I'm gonna like. I'm like gonna get chocolate chip cereal on a plate. That's lovely. And it tastes so good. Well, can you do that for me? Yep. Lovely. Thank you. How many are you gonna leave? Um, I'm gonna leave you twelve. Well, could you leave wow. me fifteen? Wow. Okay. Well, I'll tell you why, because I'll eat 12 and then I'll put the other ones in my bag and I can eat them as I'm going around delivering all the presents to all the boys and girls. Wow. Yes. Okay. So I'll try and take out 15. And Dad. 
Dad. Tomorrow morning. Yes. After school, me and you are going to Tesco. For That's what? right. To get Santa cookies. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Tantrum, but we've come here, it's such a gorgeous place, and we cannot wait to come back. It is done. Fire going at the moment. 
moment. Sorry for the mess. This is how it's gonna be for the rest of, I would say, four months. Let's see what the movie's all about. Who is seven today? Me. Me. Look at that. That is cute, isn't it? Mom. Yes. Do video of me doing the Rala song. Okay, come on then. Rala, ah, uh, ah, uh, Roman, do la la, ga, ga, ooh la la. You know who sing sings it? Oh, man. Lady Gaga. Do you know who Lady Gaga is? No. It's nearly New Year's. And guess what is tomorrow? <gasps> My birthday! Oh, the New Year's <laughs> baby! <laughs> and we are so ready. Are we ever? Mom. And he's wearing mommy's product glasses. Thank you Mom. very much. And how handsome is my boy? Mom. Yes, darling. You know no, I don't. And Daddy's trying to get the fire going. Here, how old are you, baby? Make a wish. Look. So yeah, so as you can see, our holidays were pretty quiet, cranes. We just did like bits and pieces, just three of us. Um, literally, we were sitting in this garden room with the fire on, watching movies, going out to eat. It was really, really nice. And I think I put on 10 pounds. I don't know if you can see, but I can. Having said that, me and Bobby are doing dry January. Actually, we're doing dry January and February. We promised each other we're not gonna drink till Bobby's birthday, which is on February 20th. Also, I'm, uh, we don't have a kitchen, <laughs> so I ordered myself All Plants. Uh, All Plants is actually a company that provides a prepared meal, frozen meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I've ordered, um, I think, stock to last me for two weeks in my freezer. So I've been trying, so I've been having it for the past two days. Oh my God, it is so good. So you know, people have a misconception that plant-based food is you know, blah, it doesn't taste good. Oh my God, let me tell you, my mouth is watering right now. I've been having it for the past two days. The breakfast pots are amazing. Um, their meals are amazing. Some of them, you could put them in the oven. They tell you if it's best to be putting it in the oven or the microwave. So it is literally no fuss, no moss. And I don't even miss having a kitchen because the meals are so yummy. Um, so yeah. I digress. Um, what was I going to say? So yes, to the part of having no kitchen. So the builders were off, as you can imagine. They were off for the holiday period. And they came back 3rd of January. So they've been here for past four days. Oh my goodness, they have accomplished so much for the past four days. I'm quite shocked <laughs> and overwhelmed. Um, as you'll say, I think... So before the holidays, I didn't really feel much because if they were working outside, they were putting the boundary. Now they're starting to come inside the house because they need to take away the kitchen. They need to take away this garden room because they need to build up. Um, and I have to say, I, I got so overwhelmed. <laughs> I had to leave the house for like a couple of hours because 
it was quite intense when we took on this task i didn't comprehend how difficult it would be uh having said that jagir's not phased bobby's not phased even me i know the end result is going to be amazing but jagir he's a seven-year-old boy he literally does not care you could put him in anywhere he's like yeah mommy it's fine it's fine like you know he's not phased at all which is amazing he's not complaining um Bobby's not complaining and I think I'm the one who took on I am the initiator of this task and I'm like oh my god what did I get myself into but I know the end result is going to be worth it so I'm just going to quickly share um, over the past few days what they've been doing the progress around the house and I hope you enjoy that also let me know if you're doing a double story extension or any sort of extension in the house if you have any tips or if you have any questions related to that let's discuss it in the comment section before i go on and on i'm just gonna play what they've been up to for the past four days and i hope you enjoy it <laughs> The kitchen is coming apart as we speak. So we're repurposing this kitchen because it's solid oak and it's really good quality. And we found a really good joiner who's going to repurpose this and make it into a new kitchen. We're going to lose the worktop and hit a little sneak peek. Yeah, you've done a lot of it now. No, 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 Huh? Charles, what's he doing? Well, he's cutting the water off, yeah, which used to supply the existing kitchen. So we're going to have this kitchen right here for the next three to four months. <laughs> Great. And this utility room is going away as well. Actually, it's not going away. It's the, roof, the roof is going to be raised. Okay. And Bobby, make sure you don't break anything, babe. Right. <laughs> Why? <laughs> right, I am. I'm off to the gym. So I just came back from the gym, and this is what our current kitchen situation. Very messy. And then the ceiling is coming off. How's it going, Charles? Yes, yeah, thank you, Gavin. <laughs> How's I'm it going? Back, I'm getting there. I'm back up with the bus fuel. Oh. making a mess. I know. Look at that. So essentially, this wall's coming out. The ceiling's coming off. And the boot room is now fully taken out. We have shelves here. There's a bits and pieces left, but it's essentially this roof is going to fully come off. Yeah and they have done well and bobby's helping today always helping always helping bobby's the bear oh yeah bobby i'll take this off now this is for your extractor fan wow not bad well done guys thank you guys thank you for my dollars yes no worries <laughs> no worries at all i'm gonna see if there are any fries left for me yeah please okay this is how we're currently having our meals um this is our kitchen and that's where we're keeping all the dishes i'm currently making dinner and over here tomorrow this is all going to be blocked off and life is not gonna be normal for a while life is not gonna be normal for a while but that is okay this is what we currently have to live with and Jigar is having a little chicken sandwich with chips so the boot room tiles are currently off and this is empty 
and the kitchen is kitchen roof is coming off as well as we speak yes they've made good progress so far this week okay so as you can see so much has changed <laughs> um especially that part where jagir is just sitting there having his breakfast at the table not phased at all and i think in the coming weeks uh we're probably gonna lose i think ow my foot sleep so I think what will happen next, from as I understand it, they're going to um, change the kitchen area, they're going to extend the kitchen area, and then they're going to come on the living room side, they're going to start building up. I mean, we live upstairs, that is where I'm going to see probably massive change happening once they start boxing us into, instead of four rooms, we're boxed into probably two rooms. Um, and I think at some point, we're probably going to have to leave the house for, I would say, a month or so, which is okay as long as we stay in this area because Jagir goes to school around here um and i think we know where we're gonna go and stay there's a cottage our builder has worked on previously and that is currently airbnb'd out and he said he he knows the guy who rents it so hopefully we could go in there and um yeah hopefully that'll be all right our builders are so nice the whole team is so nice they're so kind they're so sweet I mean, I'm changing my mind pretty much every day and they're so accommodating, which is incredible. And we got an incredible guy who's gonna actually repurpose our current kitchen. Initially, we were gonna get a brand new kitchen, but then we looked at the current kitchen that we have. I believe it's timber, oak, like real wood, really good quality kitchen. And then we thought, why don't we just repurpose it? we know exactly how we want the layout instead of going somewhere as somebody designing the kitchen i'm currently designing the kitchen myself so it work and then we found this amazing guy he is literally the most passionate joinery person i believe uh, you call him i told him exactly how i want the layout to be so he's gonna take the current kitchen and repurpose it which is gonna be amazing because we're gonna be saving good amount of money there and that'll give me more to play with in when it comes to my dressing room, which is amazing. Key things I want to get done as soon as possible after the kitchen and downstairs is done. I want to get my dressing room slash office done because I create content from there. I used to always create content in my last dressing room and the office just because I work from home a lot. So the plan would be to tackle that next. I'm going to see if our current joinery person is going to make my dressing room or one of the builders who's also does joinery, he might make a dressing room, we don't know. Uh, so I'm weighing my options, trying to figure out who would be the best person to do that. Okay, so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, I'll see you in my next video next week. Take care. Bye.